Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your boy Josh here, back with another very little video for you guys. So today I just had a day off work and I just popped over to Gapton Hall near me and I just went into TK Maxx Boots, Poundland, Marks and Spencers and also Home Bargains. I didn't really pick up loads and loads in each of the shops so I didn't really want to film an individual video because there weren't enough content going to be in there and also some of the bits that I bought from certain shops you are going to see later on in other videos so my mother saying Easter hauls which will be coming up very very soon you will be seeing them stuff in that video so I popped into TK Maxx and I just picked up one item in there they had a few bits in there that was you know okay but I thought Josh you've got so much clothing but I just really really like the top I absolutely love the brand Champion and they did have a really cool Champion t-shirt in there. So it's just a plain black Champion t-shirt. It just has the logo in the corner and just Champion all running up the side of it as well. And this was £12.99 in there which I think is a really, really cheap. And for me, I'm gonna keep this for summer and I'm just gonna wear a plain black pair of denim shorts with it and just some sliders, probably my Tommy Jean sandals or sliders I will wear with this as well. So yeah, that's everything that was picked up in TK Maxx. Then popped in to Marks and Spencers next, but I've already filmed that part, so it's gonna come later on in the video as well due to my lunch being there and I was so hungry when I got and I just had to munch my prawn salad. So that will come at the end of the video. And then went in to Boots after and didn't really get much in Boots, but just picked up a few bits in there on their reduction stand. So um, I've run out of body sprays completely. I've only got like my, my Chanel or Dior ones. I don't really just want to use them like continuously on a day-to-day -day basis. So I just picked up the Shaw Men's anti-perspirant compressed ones these ones and they were reduced to 79p in there so I just picked up two of them they did have quite a lot on their reduced stand as well quite a lot of shampoos and like picture frames and a few other bit few other bits on there also and then they also had the Kendall and Kylie keyring left in there on their sale items and th this was now 90% off which is incredible it made it out that it was like 50p for that how cheap and it's just a perfect gift because most people do like or know of Kendall and Kylie Jenner so yeah picked up that and that was everything that was purchased in Boots then after, just popped into Poundland. Again, the one in Captain Hall didn't really have loads and loads in it. I did look again for the Yes 2 products because I was going to buy more of them. Because when I went into Boots, the Yes, their yes 2 bits they were selling in there was like £11.99. Look how dear the Yes 2 stuff can be. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to stock up more on the Yes 2. Unfortunately, they didn't have any in there. But I still managed to pick a few bits up in there. First thing is just the Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum. Nothing really much to say about that. Then in this house, we are really, really addicted to these biscuits. The Lotus Biscoff ones. And then I've seen a few people buy it in their halls before and I've seen a few people buy it in shops. And I've never really understood what it was. So it's this coffee mat for creamier tasting coffee stuff <clears throat> and then I, I asked my mum, oh mum what is it and stuff, she's like it's, you don't, it's like the milk in the coffee so you don't add the dairy milk itself. So I really really want to give this stuff a taste, I don't know if it's nice or not but I thought for a pound might as well give it a taste. Then they had this Nescaf frappe drinking powder stuff they only had two or three left in the Gapton Hall Poundland and we have a like a mixing mixing milkshake machine so I am actually going to make the frappe for myself to take out on a day and that was a pound in there 
so my mum has been watching a few other YouTubers Poundland hauls and she has noticed that a lot of them are buying in there now the prints that go on um, the wall and if you look actually on Amazon or eBay the prints actually are so much more expensive on other various websites but in Poundland they had them for a pound in there and then the picture frames to go in them as well they were also a pound obviously the frame itself isn't the greatest quality but just to go on the wall it's perfect and if you look online you're going to be paying a lot lot more they didn't have the print design that my mum initially wanted in there so i just picked up this one for her the flower one and it is a 29 Point seven times 42 centimetre size print and my mum if I'm right is putting this in her bedroom for herself and this is the poster frame which fits it in there also and that is so so cheap for a pound honestly and then for my bedroom as I am doing it up I still have not got round to putting my bed up now it's honestly getting to the point of ridiculousness I just bought the llama print one. I just wanted like a plain black sort of print. So I got this one and I also got the white poster frame to go on it also. And for two pound, you would think when it look, when you see it in there and you're gonna see it on the wall, you would think it's gonna be more than two pound. And these are selling out really, really, really quick. I looked in the Norwich Poundland, the one I got the Yes 2 bits in, they weren't in that one. And then I went over to Gapton and luckily enough they were, but they didn't have all the designs in there. And they had about four photo frames left, that was all they had. Also, the Gapton Hall Poundland didn't really have a great Mother's Day or Easter selection in there, like section. They had still Valentine's in there. That's gone now. Like I was looking for your Mother's Day and Easter stuff, you didn't have it in there for me. You did let me down today a little bit, Poundland, Gatchin Hall one. And then just popped into Home Bargains and you can always pick something up in that shop. Like even if you don't go in there with anything in the mind that you want to get, as you just go past the aisles, you can always pick stuff up. So yeah, I did pick, I think I spent about £25 in there, £25 to £30. But not all of it will be shown, as I just said in this video, because some of the bits are for Mother's Day and Easter, so they're going to be sharp in later videos. So the first bits that I'm going to show you is just get the boring bits out of the way first. I just picked up two packs of velvet, and they are 89p each in there. And they're really good in calories and fat and everything. So if you do fancy a bag Chris at night, I would definitely like, recommend these ones because they taste amazing. Then for a lunch one day, I absolutely love the Tuna Infusions John West Steam Pot with Couscous. This is a very, it is quite hot and spicy when you do have it, but it does taste absolutely amazing and it is really, really filling. Then just picked up some of the Bog Brawl beefy drinks. There are a pound in there. Also, I do really suffer with like low energy and just get very tired really, really quickly. So I do try out a lot of different things that try and boost my energy up. I do actually quite like these, but they, they become more sweet for me the amount of times I just keep eating them because they taste so good. The Dextro Energy Orange Flavor 2-pack, I picked up a pack of them. Also, the if you watched the previous Home Bargains video, you would have seen that I picked up the man flu sachets they've actually gone down 10p now i paid 79p like a week ago went in there today they've gone down to 69p but i picked up the man flu hot shot comfort drink this one so i am hoping that it does boost my energy with the little sachet i noticed my energy got boost for about an hour or two and then i did start feeling a bit more tired again so i'm hoping this one does last a bit longer Jim also picked up just some Sweetex tablets for coffees and teas and everything. 
for another lunch, one day for work, I just picked up the mug shop, snack, stop, on the go, chow mein. And this is the cheapest shop that actually sell these. They're 49p. In other shops at Tesco, as they're well over a pound. I then picked up the Green Giant Sweet Corn. Two tins for a pound in there. And then the new energy support increases alertness and concentration. Helps to reduce tiredness and fatigue. And it's 30 capsules per pack. These are pound seventy nine in there. The Forza range and brand. And as, as I said, I really, really need to find something that helps my, like, tiredness and just keeps me awake and does not keep making me feel tired because I do really suffer with it really, really badly. And finally, I just picked up some tan and a tan emit because I'm getting really, really pale and I just want a bit more of a nicer colour to my skin. And I just picked up, so, the tan applicator. And if you actually look, you, these can actually be really expensive. So some are over £5. In Home Bargain, they are 99p. And to be honest with you, they all do the same thing. They all just apply the same tan. So, you know, why go and spend loads and loads of money when they're just going to end up in the bin anyway to slow the tan over it? <clears throat> and then I just picked up, because I'm not sure what tan to buy, like... If you know of a good tan, please comment it below for me, guys, because I just really, really need help. So I just picked up in Home Bargains this B tan. I hate commitment. Give me a tan for a night, instant tan. And to be honest, that's all I want. And sometimes on a night out or whatever, I do just want a bit of a tan. So that's why I did pick up this one. And it's a wash-off dark brown tan lotion that smells like summer. So it's going to smell peng. And won't go on your clothes either. So... I thought some, I'd have worn a white t-shirt before and tanned and literally the whole t-shirt has just turned like a creamy brown colour due to the tan. So yeah, it's just that one. And for those who who just can't commit, and that is me, like I always, I always think, oh my God, I'm going to tan, like I really want to tan. I just get lazy and just don't end up doing it. So this is really, really great. Another reason for me. So yeah, got this one. As I did say, please, please do comment a good tan below for me, guys, because I need so much help with it. Marks and Spencers, and didn't buy much in there at all, but I just quickly thought I'd show you what I did pick up. So I got the iced coffee lattes as well. I got the last five of them. If you watched my previous videos, you would have seen that in this household, we are absol absolutely obsessed with these bad boys. They're pound forty in there, which I think is a really, really great price. Picked up a egg mayonnaise filler, which was reduced to 85p. Then these two sticky chicken barbecue kebabs. Honestly, they are absolutely heaven. And they were reduced to £1.80 in there from 2 80 So I picked up two packs of them. For lunch, I picked up the prawn layered salad as well. Then for dinner, just the beef lasagna. And finally, I told you it weren't much at all. Just the orzo roasted tomato pasta and the pasta, spinach and pine kernels as well, which were two for three fifty. So that's everything that I did pick up in there today. So anyway, that has come to the end of this video. Hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to comment a tan and your favourite item of this video. Also, I will link my Instagram in so you can come say hi on me and see what I'm up to on my day-to-day -day life. I'll see you really, really soon with that video. Bye!